How are you guys doing? Well, today we're going to talk about the Rolex bubble. A second-hand Rolex watch is sold for an inflated price, even over the MSRP price of a new Rolex, Rolex watch. The new Rolex watch is sold at Rolex authorized dealers sell out because buyers know that if they can sell these watches, they can get more than MSRP, which is what they paid for the watches at the authorized dealers. The consumer can't find a Rolex watch at the authorized dealers, so they are willing to pay over MSRP at second-hand dealers and or gray market dealers. There is a low supply at MSRP because of the big demand everywhere. All this makes the Rolex prices go high and stay high. Everyone, everyone has their theory why the Rolex bubble exists and where the Rolex bubble is going and if the bubble will end or not. It is like the music industry with some classic rock bands. The prices are high because someone is willing to pay it. The public are willing to pay it. Now, there are some of these classic rock bands that will charge $1,000 for a concert. You go to see their concert, $1,000 if you book early. And they may only have half of the original members. So they hype this up and you pay $1,000. And the guy sitting next to you, he could have paid $100 to see the same concert. He just booked that afternoon because they wanted to fill the seats. But they tr have a whole bunch of gimmicks, like VIP meetings, selling you like a piece of a broken guitar or a guitar that was played on the stage for extremely high prices. And they also have box sets that are limited editions that you buy. Extremely high prices for these. And there's a music journalist called Eddie Trump. And he's talked about this numerous times on his radio show. And he says the reason they do this with these crazy prices is because somebody is willing to pay it. As long as people are willing to pay it, they're going to charge these crazy prices. And Eddie Trump is right. And I've thought the same thing. And it's the same thing with these Rolex watches. If somebody is willing to pay the high prices at, over MSRP, if somebody is willing to pay it, they're willing to charge it. If no one is willing to pay inflated prices, there won't be any more inflated prices. There are second-hand and or gray market watch dealers that are big like supermarkets. They are big enough to pay top dollar for Rolex watches as they sell these watches for top, top dollar too. But the watches are available. It would be easy enough for these supermarkets, big giant dealers, to advertise Rolex watches marked down in price to give them the advantage of buying Rolex watches for the, from the public for a lower price. So, put, the, so put some fake advertising out there and say, oh, we're having a big sale on some Rolex watches. Marked right down low, big sale. Call it a good, like a Good Friday or what do you call it, Black Friday. Yeah, a good Black Friday sale. And mark them down. And you know what? They're not even available. Just how the public goes to buy one. Oh, well, they're all sold out, everybody. They sold out in two seconds. But here we got the ones for full price. Bait and switch, right? But then again, if some fella has a Rolex watch, he needs some money, wants to sell it, go to that big supermarket watch dealer and say, well, I'd like to sell my watch. And then they say, okay, we're going to have to give you a lower price. And they say, why is that? Well, look what we're, we charge like for these watches. They, we lowered them right down. So we can't give you more than what we're selling them for. 
but then they really didn't sell them for that price. So they have the, the guy believing some little independent fellow just wants to sell his own personal watch. They said, well, look, at, we can't give you more than what we're, we sold it for. You know, just making up an excuse is to give him a lower price. And if he does agree to it, they'll just go back and charge the regular high price they were charging anyway. So there could be a possibility that they're just using these sales just to fool the public. And I've heard they might have a sale like that once a year. You can call it Black Friday sale, so call it what you want. I just call it some brainwashing. Collectors of Rolex watches who has their watches secured like the bubble and worry if the bubble will end. Well, there's some of these Rolex owners, they worry all the time about this Rolex bubble. They're on pins and needles steady. That's all they talk about. Right on pins and needles. Will their watch go up in price? Will the watch go down in price? It's just like their hobby. Be on pins and needles about the Rolex bubble. Again, everyone has their theory about if and when the Rolex bubble will end or stay. Firm and steady or rise. Everybody has their theory. Some people blame the one watch dealer. Some people blame the authorized dealers. Some people blame... Oh, they blame like how they're selling the watches and they'll blame how they they take the wrappers off the watches. They'll blame how they keep the warranty cards. There's a lot of blame flying around all over the place. Well, some people like to gamble and they like the excitement. The small independent watch dealers where fine people want too much money for their Rolex watch. The dealer would have to resell these watches at too high of a price and have too much money tied up in their inventory. You, you take a little independent dealer, if he's got all his money tied up in his inventory, well that's interest on that money. If they pay more for these watches they're buying from the public, they don't make more money. They have to charge more for these watches. So somebody comes into a little independent dealer store and wants big high price for their watch over MSRP. And if the dealer wants to buy it, they're going to have to charge a big high price naturally to, to make any money and sell that watch. And that's a lot of money to be tied up. And do they really want to say to their customer, well, I'm going to charge you too much for this watch because that's all I can get? Well, maybe the customers don't feel very good doing that. Can they do that with a conscience? I don't know. Probably not if they're little independent dealers. Maybe these big monopolies, maybe that's their idea to put these little independent dealers out of business. Because you take a little independent dealers all over the place, they add up, don't they? But some big supermarket monopoly, they can really have deep pockets and pay more for watches and sell them at higher prices and... If they get the monopoly, they're the one-stop shop where you have to go to buy these watches. So who or what are you going to blame? Blame consumers who are willing to pay high inflated prices, higher than MSRP? You can blame whoever you want, according to your experiences and, and your whole past thing and what you outlook on the future of the whole thing. The global elites want to and do have the monopoly in everything. So the global elites, they want to have the monopoly and everything. They want to be able to charge you the highest prices for everything. They want you to have to go to them for the highest prices and everything. It's like the food industry, isn't it? Where you can't get any food, you have to go to the biggest, most powerful, richest companies to get your food. And then you're just getting junk food mostly that's all full of chemicals and GMOs and full of pesticides and everything else. But you're paying top dollar for it. Because they got the monopoly. So with these Rolex watches, they have the consumers going out of waiting lists for the, the Rolex watches. And if you've ever been in school, then they tell you about communism, how people go on a waiting list for a loaf of bread. And you know, you look at the way things are going. The global elites don't want people to have their own transportation. They want people to like wait for a bus. Wait for everything. You don't have your own transportation. You gotta wait. 
wait for the bus, wait for the taxi, wait for the train, wait for the plane. You don't have your own transportation. You've got to wait. So the global elites just want you begging for them, going on a waiting list to wait for them. So when you're waiting for them, you're at their mercy. You're their sheep. You're their zombie. Everything. The zombie waiting for a bus. Well, wouldn't you have more... Um, more self-involvement if you had your own car transportation than just stand there waiting for a bus. And I'm not trying to say that people that wait for a bus are wrong or anything or any less than anybody else, but I think they're being abused. That's why I'm sticking up for these people. I think they're being abused and they should be treated better. So I'm sticking up for the people that are forced to wait for things. But when it comes to watches, you have a decision. You don't have to wait for a watch. You have the power. All people can get together, talk about it, and they have the power. Say, we're not going to wait for watches anymore. We're not going to pay over MSRP for watches anymore. So the global elites, they want to dictate to the population and control the population, which is us. They don't want the population to work together. And the population can work together through research and education and studying. So study, you guys. Study all this Rolex bubble stuff and study it. And study all the other stuff that goes with it. Related things. So thank you guys for your time for listening. And I'd like you guys to comment what you guys think. Because everybody's going to have a little bit different opinion and different take on it. Some of you guys have a lot of experience with your watches and Rolex watches. And some of you guys have a lot of experience with the ADs and the, the second-hand dealers and the gray market dealers and the wannabe watch dealers and everything. So people from all over the world is going to have different experiences. And it would be great to have a little bit of a conversation about it in the comment section. And we can all educate each other a little bit on it. So thank you guys for your time. Talk to you again soon.